Hi, this is Pip Payne with Bring Your Own Laptop. And in this tutorial, we're going to have some more fun with type. We're going to link text boxes to find and change and change case. Text boxes have the ability to link with one another so that the text flows from one to the other. Let's start off by selecting the black selector tool. Let's move the text that I've got here, which is just some lorem ipsum, so I can see the bottom of it. And we'll see the little white square at the bottom here indicates that there is no overset text. If I move it up, we can see that the white empty square is now a red square with a plus in it. That indicates that there is additional text that you can't see. Now to link the text to another text box, we click the red box. It loads up the icon and we can drag. We now have two text boxes indicate and indicating that they're linked here and here. This text box, not a white one, not a red one, but a blue one with an arrow, means that there is more text and that text is already in another text box. On this one we have a text frame, got no overset text. Now my favourite way of linking text boxes is actually to not have them link at all. I will delete that one. I'm going to pull this text box out and then up in the top right here I'm going to add columns. So there we have two columns in a single text box and that's by far the best way to deal with columned text and not separate text boxes at all. It's very straightforward if we want to change upper and lowercase text to just upper. We simply go up to type change case and there we have four app options actually uppercase or lowercase title case and sentence case uppercase is self-explanatory as is lowercase title case is where each letter at the beginning of a word is a capital sentence case is where the first word has a capital I'm gonna go for uppercase and now it's all uppercase now find and change is a very very powerful feature in InDesign so here we have the find and change dialog box and in this instance what I'm going to do is find and change the extra returns that are between each paragraph and strip them out which is a very useful thing to do so if I go to end of paragraph I'm looking for two returns there's one return there and there's one return there and I'm going to change it to end of paragraph so what that will do is strip out the extra return so change all, seven done and finished. Other things you can search for, tabs, symbols, markers, hyphens and dashes, even white space, break characters, quotation marks and even wild cards, any digit, any letter. Notice they are find here, change here. Also you can search the document, the story and all open documents. Also search for a format as in a style like heading or body you can change your format there so find and replace is a very powerful feature and that's it for this tutorial on more fun with text